Hey, this is Nick J. Bat from NickJBat.com. Now we're going to rush this very quickly because this is for our friends over at YouTube, and I am going to have to break this into two 10-minute um, videos. So I'm going to have to run quite quickly. You can stop, pause it, anything you don't understand. All the stuff I'm talking about, like the softbox, is, is you'll find a gazillion softbox videos on YouTube. Now, there's a lot of noise about softboxes on YouTube at the moment, but there's one thing that really is the main thing you need to be interested in, in terms of the softbox. And softboxes, they're quite ex cheap now, they're still quite ex expensive for some people. Um, and you know there is the softbox is used in a cruder term in exactly the same way as I'm going to show you now uh, using wood and aluminium but um, basically we all know what a softbox is or if you don't it's what we use in photography or now for video shoots to create a nice soft even light um, a shadowless light and we basically just use it on the model's face um, just to create a nice, let me just bring that down uh, a nice even kind of soft light as you can see on my face there it's kind of quite shadowless and gradual and it's what we use but you know they're still quite expensive um, and all they are is like an umbrella type tent material they're not rigid they're kind of, they fold, this is a folding one, it opens up like an umbrella, the translucent material, now in terms of when you see big Hollywood picture films and you see these huge metal frames with material over them, that material is silk, um, so that they put it between the actors and the sun and it creates a nice shadowless look. But anything smaller than those big 24 by 24s or uh, 12 by 4 frames, you will have like an 8 by 4 or a 4 by 4, and those we use um, we use uh, a sort of heat proof material gel. You know, everyone on YouTube is going about rice paper, this, and that, and the other. The irony is. The heat proof, specially graded paper that is used uh, to go in front of lights to create a soft light in the smaller frames that you see costs about what six dollars for a two foot by two foot square. So if you go and ask them for a four foot by four foot square, um, it only costs you twelve bucks, and that's the professional stuff that you'll see used inside a studio on any production. You know, heat proof uh, 216 or uh, F1, F2 or F3, F3 being the most densest. But, so that's what a soft light is, and inside you've got a bulb and reflective material. The only benefit to this is it keeps all the light in. But what we're going to be doing is using a tray where this is our trusty work light here our 500 watt trusty work light and what I'm going to do here that's quite bright is I'm going to hang this translucent material about a foot from the work lamp to about here between me and the work lamp so you can see the light now on me is a lot more subtle it's a lot more softer and it's a lot more natural obviously if I had somebody else holding this um, I could take the exposure down and kind of move it out of shot. Now, you know, if you're lighting something in an interview or, you know, for a drama, that's obviously a lot more pleasing. So you basically, so you can see the light there's a lot more softer, it's a lot more natural. Um, yes, you lose a lot of light because a lot of light's bouncing back off the material away from the set. But we use this system all the time so you know you don't need the back of you know you don't need the whole softbox system to get a softbox look and um, you know and what we're going to be doing is basically I bought this which as you can see 
is about six foot by six foot. That's a six foot by six foot white shower curtain, slightly rubbery, translucent, and it cost me about two dollars, or the equivalent of two dollars. And that is more than enough to be nice and big for a, a studio portrait if you're doing photography or for doing a light from a, a window in a drama or a TV show, you know, a, a soft overcast light from a window. And you can put more than one work light behind this, you can put three or four, have two and a half K, three K coming through. Um, obviously, I'm standing here now by myself, but if somebody else is holding this at a kind of good distance, you can see now that the quality of light is, is very good. I mean, it's very soft. You can see on my t-shirt, the quality of light is very soft. It's like a commercial, uh, like you'd see in a close-up in a commercial. Um, you know, natural looking, uh, and it's it's a very very good way to light. Um, and as you can see, I mean, you can see the difference. If I put that there, you know, you can see that how much it kind of whites out. I mean, you can put that outside a window at night, and it will look like daylight. If you put that outside a window in the back of your picture in your set and you had that light going through it, it looked like a daylight sky outside the window. So again, you can see the light on the side of my face here in an extreme close-up is very soft, very natural, and is like what you'd see in a commercial. So what we're going to do, without wasting any more time, in the next video, is we're going to erect a way that we use every day in the real film world completely properly using some bits of wood that cost me about twelve dollars in total thin bits of wood we're going to make a four by four frame and it is shining through our shower curtain and this is, uh, let me just open the exposure a bit, this is the sort of lighting we would do in any sort of music video or commercial or, um, you know, TV drama. And as you can see here, when I sort of get back into the position, um, you know, it looks pretty natural. I mean, this is, if I just kind of... Well, if I just come over here, you can see what the, the sort of the light's doing. Um, let's just get it a little bit brighter. Um, let's just move it up a bit, up to about there. And you know, it's pitch black outside. It's night, but that looks like I'm sort of, um, you know, sat next to a window. And all we've got is this big white expanse here and I'm just sat there like that, so as you can see, this light here looks very natural, looks like I'm just uh, sat next to the window, and you can see that the light is very soft, you can see it on my forehead there, the light is very soft, and that's, you know, uh, that is kind of indicative to uh, light from a window on an overcast day. So, you know, if you want that music video, if you want that rap video look with the extremely soft light, I mean, look at the shadow from my thumb on my hand. It's virtually non-existent. This is how you do it. You get a big bit of translucent material, in this case, an old shower curtain, and you put one of your work lamps through it. And this is pretty much what, this is what the front end, the business end, of a um, softbox is doing. You don't need a softbox. I mean, a softbox this size would probably cost you a couple of hundred dollars at least. So there you go, guys. See you on the next video.